Hansen from Magellan College Counseling. I am here to go through this final section of the Common Application. Here we are logged into my Common App account, and I'm here on the third tab, the Common App tab, and we've already filled out all of these other sections, and we are ready for the Courses and Grades section. Now, um, when you click on Courses and Grades, it will give you a list of which of the colleges on your dashboard um, require you to enter your courses and grades. And it's going to ask you to give 9th, 10th, and 11th grade. Remember here in the education section, we told it what classes we're taking our senior year. So um, you should not have to uh, enter anything for 12th grade. Um, I would say this, uh, you should fill up your dashboard with all the colleges on your list before you get to the courses and grades section because you might not be applying to any colleges that require this. So if, it, if that's the case, it'll say zero colleges require and you don't have to do it. Um, and you can see a lot of colleges actually don't require you to enter your courses and grades because they are going to have you send a transcript or because you, your school uses Naviance or SCORE or another program through which your counselor will actually just upload a transcript. So I am able to obtain a copy of my transcript, yes. You should, by the way, have your transcript sitting in front of you before you do this, right? My transcript shows grades for courses I've completed. This is required. Yes. I'm going to hit continue. So I'm not going to go through all of 9th, 10th, and 11th grade um, courses, but um, this is how you do it. And uh, when you first get here, this box is not checked. So we're going to add courses. And it knows what schools you go to, right, because you've already told it and it knows what school years you have been in school. Here's your grading scale, and it needs to know if you were on a semester or a trimester or a quarter system, and you're just going to add one course at a time. Add, uh, add a course. And if you have a different transcript, um, see, so we've added multiple subjects here, right? So if I add a course, it's going to show up here. If you have to add a course from a different school, so this is all for this one school, right? These three subjects are for this one school. If you need to add a course from a different school, if you took a course online or if you took a summer class, if you took something somewhere else, um, you, you would do that this way. All right, so I'm going to X out of this. I know it is not complete, so now it's mad at me. Um, and until you hit this, um, it does not think you're done, so I'm actually not going to hit this. Um, but as you hit continue, it's just going to keep going through 10th grade and 11th grade, 12th grade. What it's going to ask you is, do you have courses listed on your transcript that have official transcript grades? So this would be the case if you took a summer class over the summer between 11th and 12th that your high school is considering 12th grade. And again, they're only looking for courses that you have an official grade. Okay? So I'm just going to say no, because um, most kids don't. And I'm going to hit continue. And then it's going to ask you if there are other courses um, listed on your transcript that have a transcript grade. And this would be, it asks for middle school um, in case you took Algebra 1 or Geometry or possibly even Algebra 2 um, or any um, first level of a foreign language in middle school that you received a grade for. So if that's the case, you're going to hit yes. Um, perfectly fine for you to hit no for that. Um, and once you hit go to My Colleges, it's going to take you right here to the My Colleges tab. Um, one more thing, let me just go through since that was a pretty quick explanation. Um, let me just show you that each college has what we call college-specific questions. So I'm going to pick a school, let's see, that I haven't answered the questions for yet. Perfect. Okay, so we've got University of Oregon here. Um, and each college, you're going to have to answer these for each individual college. Sometimes they're the same questions, um, but and it's basic, basic stuff. So like, when do you want to start? I'm going to start in fall of 2020. How do you want to apply? I want to apply regular. I want to apply early action. Um, do you, many colleges ask this, do you want to submit a portfolio? Let's just say we do. They require activities or accomplishments? Yes, I understand that. Um, let's see, sometimes they want to know if you have used any um, college prep courses. Again, we actually answered this in the education section, um, but we're, I'm going to say no to this. 
Um, you can, a lot of times they'll ask you if you want to be connected, uh, contacted by mobile phone. Sometimes the, and there's just one choice, I consent, and sometimes it's a yes or no question. So you'll know if there's a little red asterisk here if you have to, uh, if you have to answer it. Um, they will almost always ask you if you've previously applied, um, or mm, sometimes they ask you if you've previously attended. That's not a common question. Um, most colleges, after the general section, there's this academic section, and they ask you to choose your major. Let me just remind you, um, you are not gluing yourself to a major here, okay? So most colleges don't actually let you declare a major until you're a sophomore. However, some colleges you have to apply directly into a college. Um, so they need to have an idea of what you might want to study. So you probably want to go through, and it's usually quite a long list, right? usually uh, want to go through, and let's see, why is there, ah, so um, see how it tells you majors with an asterisk have additional entry requirements. So it's just going to ask you a whole bunch of questions, and um, it'll take you to the point where sometimes there's additional essays, sometimes it'll tell you if it's optional, sometimes there's an honors college option. For public schools, they're going to ask you if you, um, if you consider yourself a resident of that state. Here, let me just um, answer these questions. Um, sometimes they'll ask you your, your professional objective, right? So let's see, was your schooling done in a language other than English? No. Um, what best describes your school? Yes, my school follows the U.S. educational system. Ah, so now they're going to want to know how many credits of English did you take? So some of these questions are a little bit more involved than others. I'm just going to skip through this really quick. Sometimes the questions are more involved than others, and obviously you can see that I skipped that required section, so I don't get a green check here. Here's the optional essays. Um, very frequently, um, it has to do with diversity and inclusion right now. It's a, a big topic, so if you have a story about diversity and inclusion, this is a great time for you to share that story. Um, here's a special circumstances essay, fabulous. Um, and again, I just wanted to get to this residency section. So um, they define who is an Oregon resident. This is true for all the out-of-state schools. Um, you, they are going to ask you, for tuition and fee purposes, do you consider yourself a resident? I'm going to say, no, I'm not a resident of Oregon. And then it takes you to the additional information. Um, is English your first language? Sometimes it's just interesting questions like this. Do you consider yourself to be multiracial, multiethnic? That's cool. What a cool question. Um, let's see. The language you prefer. Okay, so sometimes they're going to ask you if you want to give them more information about your sexual identity. You can see this is not required. Um, your gender identity, not required. You can leave that blank if you want. And many schools actually ask you if you've ever been in foster care. I'm going to say no, and I think I'll get a green, che green check for that. Yep. And then here's the honors college question. So if I said yes, watch what happens. The little essay is going to pop up. And this is a really serious honors college, you guys. This is a, this is a, a real essay that you're going to have to write. An essay that responds to one of the three quotations, reflect on how the quotation relates to your own experience, beliefs, and attitudes. So I'm just going to change this to no, but just so you know, if you're applying to the University of Oregon Clark Honors College, that is the real deal. The kids in that school have pretty solid GPAs and all that good stuff. So again, I haven't completed the questions, but I just want to let you know every single school has this list of questions that you're going to have to go through. Um, before you submit. And again, you're, you're going to be submitting, you can see what the deadlines are. You're going to be submitting these applications on different days, right? So this is University of San Francisco. If I wanted to do early action, that's November 1, or early decision, that's the binding one, that's November 1. Or regular, if I, if I want to wait and see where else I get in early before I submit this one, this one can wait till January. Um, same thing with Oregon. Let's see, regular decision. Oh well, yeah, they don't have an Oh, fall, here we go, fall 2020 early action, November 1, that means you'll sign out by the end of the year, but regular decision, you don't have to submit that till January. So once you go through and you tell it, I'm applying regular, I'm applying early, here's how I'm applying, when you go back to your dashboard, it'll actually tell you how many days you have until the deadline, right? This is how many days I have until the deadline. Um, I know you know this, but you should not wait until the deadline to submit your applications. 
right? Now, I'm not telling you you have to submit them right now this week. I'm not saying you should rush, but earlier is not necessarily better. You want to make sure that each college has, um, gets the very best effort that you can put forward. That would be what I want you to know about this, okay? So I think we've gone through all of the steps of the Common App, and, um, and I think I showed you how to put colleges onto your, onto your list. And um, I think I've shown you everything I want to show you. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch. Thanks.